You might think you know the Air. Apollo's entry-level scooter was everywhere in 2021 and got over a quarter million views on our channel. But this is the new Apollo Air 2022, a much bigger update than we expected with a new color, way bigger specs, and even a new mystery lever at the left handlebar. We've been testing Apollo's latest scooter all week. Come with me to find out why they call it the SUV of electric scooters. Canadian scooter company Apollo is a premium brand, so it makes sense that they would make a premium entry-level scooter. This scooter has a presence, but you can also see it in the specs. The motor is now 42% bigger at 500 watts, and the battery is 44% bigger, but the scooter's still relatively small and lightweight, gaining only 1.6 pounds. But it's the ride quality that makes it an SUV, and we'll cover that in the next section. The Air 2022 replaces both the original Apollo Air and Air Pro, and honestly does absolutely everything better than the previous models. Don't get me wrong, I love the old Air Pro. It's one of the top three scooters I grab for my daily commute, but the Air 2022 is just better. Let me show you what I mean. I've ridden well over a hundred different scooter models, and this is hands down the smoothest ride you can get for under a thousand dollars. If you live in a town with relatively bad pavement and are looking for a single motor scooter with the smoothest ride, you can basically stop watching this review right here and just click the link in the description and buy one. But seriously, it's normal to tense up when you see a bump in the road, but these motorcycle style forks work so well, I found myself aiming at bumps in the road just to feel the suspension work. The ride is further smoothed out by the big 10-inch air-filled tires that run a plush 35 pounds of pressure. Even the tires have been upgraded. They're now Aramid reinforced and have improved tubes for fewer flats. Most scooters in this price range either have suspension or air-filled tires, so having both feels amazing. When it comes to combining regen and mechanical braking in a way that just works, Apollo are absolute masters. I love these brakes. At the left handlebar, there's what looks like a second throttle lever, but it's really a dedicated regen brake. You can dial in the responsiveness of the lever using the app. For normal riding around, this is the one to use. It's smooth and easy to use, it recharges your battery when you brake, and if you use it all the time, your brake pads will basically last forever. Then there's a conventional brake lever that controls both the front drum and rear regenerative braking together. This is the masterful part, resulting in the best brakes you can get for under a thousand dollars. Yes, there are scooters that can outstop it by inches, but what makes this different is that they're strong but you can't really get them wrong. They work just like car brakes. You just mash on them as hard as you can and you're gonna stop fast. Most scooters at this price point, including the 9Bot Max, make you kickstart the scooter, but we love that Apollo gives us the option to turn on zero start in the app. Another SUV-like feature is that you get to stretch out. The bars are at our favorite height of 40 inches above the deck, but now are 2.5 inches wider for even more stability. The build quality of the original was good, but improvements are everywhere from the paint to the IP rating. I like the simplicity of the old stem latch, but it took a firm shove to get it all the way closed. The new latch is the same one used on the Apollo City. It's faster, has zero wobble, and looks great with a little orange accent. I have to admit we've missed the blue Apollo used to use on their older scooters, but we love that they've gone from black to the new graphite gray on the Apollo City and on the Air 2022. We've covered that the battery is bigger and the motor is too, but how does the 2022 Air squeeze in more power, more battery, more top speed, basically more of everything, and only gain 1.6 pounds on the ESG test scale. The secret is the 21700 battery cells. They have more energy per pound than the more common 18650 type cells that were used in the previous Apollo Air. Fender protection is outstanding as always, but ingress protection has leveled up from IPX4 to IP54. Let's have a look at the updated app. You can check charge level and remaining miles of range, set the ride mode, set the top speed limit, set an alert to beep at you when you hit the top speed limit. You can tune acceleration and braking response, toggle cruise control on and off, and here's one we haven't seen before. You can set the time it takes for cruise control to kick in. And of course, you can also turn on zero start and update your scooter's firmware. The Air 2022's ESG certified top speed is a satisfying 19.9 miles per hour, though the speedometer indicates 22 miles per hour matching the scooter's spec. 20 miles per hour is a sweet spot when it comes to commuting because it maximizes range while still letting you flow with traffic when you need to. Range increased from 17.7 miles for the Air Pro to 19.5 miles for the Air 2022. Not as much as we expected given the much larger battery, but it makes sense taking into account that the motor grew by almost 
almost as much as the battery. When it comes to the end of battery experience, on the plus side, you won't get stranded because you'll definitely feel the end coming. On the minus side, the last 3.6 miles, the scooter drops to about half speed, but it still definitely beats pushing. Acceleration is quicker, beating the Air Pro to 15 miles per hour by almost half a second and puts it on par with the 9Bot Max. Hill climbing is also better than before, reaching the top of our steep 10% grade test hill more than three seconds faster than before. The reason I grab the Apollo Air so often for my commute, including today, is portability and ride quality on Berkeley's less than perfect pavement. I wanna go about 20 miles an hour and I wanna be able to easily stuff it in my trunk for my drive across the bridge. The stem latch is super quick and feels really good. Safety wise, the Air 2022 is stable, has a smooth throttle and good lights. But the two things I notice the most are the way the big tires and suspension help the Air 2022 roll over potholes like they weren't even there and brakes that let even brand new riders stop like an expert. Pros include ultra smooth ride, easy to read display, even in bright sunlight. How often do I say that one? Strong yet easy to use brakes, an outstanding app that lets you basically control everything, and it's a really good looking scooter whether you're riding it or carrying it into the office. Cons include the wider handlebars make it a little harder to fit into the trunk. And it's a little more expensive than the Air Pro, but still a good value considering what you get. Here are some scooters I rode back to back for comparison with the Apollo Air 2022 while writing this review. The Nibot Max has longer range and slightly faster hill climbing, but lower top speed and a much less comfortable ride. The U-Scooters GT Sport and Fluid Mosquito are even more portable, have higher top speed, but less range and are at the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to cornering and ride comfort. KQI3 Pro, better hill climber and lower price, but heavier and has lower top speed. The $1,000 price category is tough for scooter makers because they know riders have a ton of very good scooters to choose from at this price point. Honestly, there's no shortage of scooters that can hit similar performance per dollar benchmarks to the Air 2022. But when it comes to ride quality in this price range, there's just no contest. The Air 2022 does it best. Like an SUV, it just rolls right over whatever is in your way and Features like the Regen brakes and big wide bars give you a feeling that you're scooting on a whole other level. 2022 is a very good year to be a scooter buyer. If you're still with us, help us out by liking and subscribing and be sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest videos. If you're interested in the Air 2022, scroll down to this video's description where you'll find a purchase link that helps support our channel, plus an ESG exclusive coupon code. Or just stay here and check out these other two ESG videos.